This has been 10 minutes, I should probably be live. Huh? Officially live. Ready? Here we go. And dun -dun, here I am. Boom. Timed it again. Timed it again. What's going on? Hopefully everybody can hear me. Looks like we only dropped a hundred frames so far. Alright. Dun dun. Freaking love the BG3 music. What's going on, Gina? How you doing? Not gonna lie. I was. I had the feelings last night, man. Because I was going to bed and, like, I wanted to, like, post something on Twitter or whatever. And then I wanted to post something this morning and I'm like. I don't even know what to post. Like this is this is this is odd. <laughs> oh man. So uh, last night was our uh, Pathfinder's um, final, our Pathfinder Kingmaker campaign. Um, it was our final. Uh, it was our final session with those characters. Yeah, you just laid on the floor for a bit. <laughs> uh, what's up, Oni? How you doing? Doing all right. Doing all right, man. Doing all right. So yeah, it was uh, got had some feelings last night. Had some feelings for sure, and that's just kind of bled into today. Um, so went for my interview today. Um, this third interview in-person interview um, with another builder for modeler and um, they're like an hour away which sucks so again you know another another office that's an hour away but um, I mean I also caused that caused that by moving out into the country so um, so yeah uh had that interview um they are they're offering me what i'm asking for like right in the middle of my range that i asked for um they're giving me paid military leave vacation covering work expenses stuff like that a lot of stuff you want to hear um I got a better feeling in person than I did through the video interview. I got a, the person I was in person, the, 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 the lady I was in person with was a lot. Uh, it was a very enjoyable conversation compared to some of the other members that were involved in the uh, video interview. So, um, so it's interesting, like I'm in this weird, I'm in this very weird emotional spot where, um, a normal person, um, I'm in this very weird emotional spot where like, I just don't know, I just don't know what to do. Um, it's an opportunity like I haven't had before. Um, there's a lot of good things on how they are structured that I haven't had before that could potentially be very good, um, you know, very good experiences, possibly an easier, easier building life. Um, you know, stuff like that. Um... God, man. You know, but I don't want to give this up. I don't want to give up streaming. I don't want to give up 
you know, learning how to be creative with with Gina's stream. I don't want to, you know, or, you know, doing this stuff. I don't want to. I don't want to give that up. I don't want to give up, like, diving back into the game industry, like, and experiencing it instead of just listening to it, you know, and watching it from 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 a window. Like, uh, I've been in it again, and it's it's something that I look forward to, and I feel like I'm reconnecting with people that were so important, you know, excuse me, in my life that were just so important in my life for a while and like I just don't want to give it up and I don't want to give up the flexibility um I don't want to give up you know I don't want to give up the the, <laughs> the little sense of freedom that I've had you know I don't want to I don't want to slip back into, you know, the person I was over the last three or four years. I don't want to slip to that. And that's what I'm afraid of. And it just, it fucking sucks, man. It fucking sucks because, you know, you go down these spirals where you're like, Where you're like, damn, dude, you're fucking 35. Like, figure your fucking shit out, you know? And it's just, um... It's just really fucking hard. I hate it. <laughs> you know? Um, like, I'm always there to take a... <laughs> I still don't have my shit figured out. <laughs> yeah, I understand, T-Law. I just... You know, it's weird. It's just a weird, it's a weird fucking feeling, dude. It's just a really weird feeling. It's, it's a, it's a, it's an uneasiness, you know, and like, you just don't, you just don't fucking know, man. Sorry. Sorry, I just Oh, it's been a lot. It's been a it's been a fun twenty four hours. <laughs> you know. And like like I'm reconnecting with people again. And like I wanna give I wanna give my time to people. Again, you know. It's just weird. It's just very weird. Sorry, I knew this was gonna happen too. Oh, I shouldn't have gone live. Oh, you know, it, it's just, uh, it's just very odd. <laughs> it's very odd. I know it's normal. I know I've lived with it for a long time. Oh. You know, and, uh, you know, yeah, oh, I know. And that's why, you know, that's why I originally started doing this back in 2017, 2018, you know, I didn't have, I didn't feel like there was, I didn't feel there was much of an outlet, you know, and this was it. But, you know, it's, um, but, you know, like I do have a passion for construction and I do. And like, I just feel like so many people fucking ruin it, <laughs> you know, like it's just bullshit, you know, Ugh. But, um, but yeah, so we came home, talked to the wife, so we're not gonna, I mean, I'm not gonna make a decision tonight, you know, 
I did tell I did tell them that like I was a little disappointed in the fact that I showed up and there was no like formal written proposal sitting in front of me. <laughs> it was like, what the fuck? <laughs> we talked on the phone. We did a video interview. We knew I was coming in today. Like, you didn't have something written up? And in her defense, she's like, well, I wanted to discuss it and not like have to rewrite it. And I'm like, yeah, I get that. So I did tell him before I left, like there would be no official decision until like I see it in writing. So, um, so waiting, waiting for that, waiting for that for sure. Um, you know, they're like talking to the financial advisor yesterday as well you know going into business for myself opens me up to you know opens up our finances to some scrutiny if we ever go for any kind of credit or anything so he kind of like warned us you know warned me about that um but it's just interesting like you know i know t law is gonna scream scream at me because he's been telling me to go into business for myself ever since we moved to Charlotte together. And, um, you know, like, I have a former homeowner that's begging me. Uh, yeah, go into business for yourself, yeah. Um, you know, I was talking to, I was talking to this former homeowner, and she's like, my husband will pay you on a monthly retainer just to help us keep up maintenance on the house. And I'm like, sheep, it was Christmas. Like, like these people are nuts, you know? And it's the area we live in. Like the area we live in is very rich. Like, you know, banking capital and all that shit. A lot of corporate, not of corporations centered here. Um, and it's just, you know, you know, if, and it's like if I go into business for myself and it does prevent us from making moves as a family on things to make it easier, like I kick myself in the ass if that was the case, you know, um, cause it's weird, right? Like I mean, it's on the house code. <laughs> But, um, you know, uh, it, it, you know, I've just had multiple people tell me like, and actually the finan my, my, our financial advisor literally said, like, if you do that, let me know. Like, I got some things, you know, around our house that, you know, cause he's from my net, my old networking group way back when I did sales, um, doing crawl space stuff. And um, I actually <laughs> crawled his crawl space and, uh, you know, kind of showed him what my service was. And, um, but yeah, he even said he was like, yeah, you know, we'd love to, you know, we'd love to have you do work on our house. You know, and it's just like, but like going into business for myself in this, like, Like I, there's there, there's so much uncertainty behind that, and making and making enough to overcome business expenses, taxes, all that stuff. You know, because everything you everything you make it immediately has things that come off the top right and it's like if I do that can I can I make enough to um, you know can I make enough to do that can I make enough to make up for the fact that maybe we won't be able to ever refinance our house if the rates drop you know two or three percent from where we're at right now, you know, um, where we are, where we're at on ours, you know, um, 
because that's what we were talking about. And he said, you know, you may not get it if you're, you know, if you're in business for yourself. Banks and all that, they, they, they treat it differently. And I remember it being treated differently. Um, me and Gina were talking about this uh, in the green room last night. Like when I went, you know, when I went for, um, like when I went for school assistance, you know, New York State and the federal government basically said, both your parents are self-employed, so go fuck yourself. We were not like raking in the money. Like that is not, that wasn't the case at all, you know, and it's just, it's just the whole system's broken, you know? I've also thought, like, if I go into business for myself, like, am I too nice of a guy? <laughs> you know? Like, am I going to be comfortable? Am I going to be comfortable with, like, just basically charging for every little single thing, you know? And I don't think I ever will be. I think I'm, I think my heart's naturally guided towards helping people and not expecting financial com compensation for it. Like that's not something I expect in return. And so it's, it's really, really weird. It's a, it's a, it's a weird feeling and, and, and mental space to be in. And so, you know, so all you gotta do is make your not, you get to make those decisions. That's the beauty of it. Yeah. Oh, I know. You know. And if I do go into business for myself, like we're talking about probably, probably a couple years of trying to get it to where I'm I'm contributing a lot to, um, to the house, you know, um, there's not that fear of like, she loses her job. Are we going to like, are we going to be upside down, you know, with my, me doing my business? So, um, whereas like, I can make the most I, I've ever made by saying yes to this tomorrow. You know. Yeah. It's, uh, It's wild. You know, it's, <laughs> I was like this morning waking up and getting ready and all that stuff. I'm like, yeah, I think I'm ready to jump back in. You know, I think I'm ready to jump back in, you know, and driving down there. And I went to the lumber yard to pick up a window part order for our own house um, from my from my distributor there um, that I've been waiting on for a long time. Um Gave me an excuse since I was already down there to just swing by and pick it up. And then, um, you know, but then like on the drive home, I was just like, are you ready? Like, are you ready to jump back in? You know, are you ready to fucking deal with these idiots? You know, I just hate to struggle so much. <laughs> Cause it's like, I had it good for a while. Um, am I? And the commute. Yeah, well, see, that's the, but see, so Gina, so that's like the weird thing, right? Like, that's where their office is. And like, I was already discussing with them, like, hey, 
Like, I really would like to only do stuff north of north of the city and stay up where I am. And they agreed that that's like, that's the thing to do. And um, they also said that they are gonna try to hire another person um, to take more because like the one owner is trying to pull out or pull back phrasing <laughs> one owner's trying to pull back getting older there's a lot of them that are older and they're trying to pull out pull back trying to pull back and try to let others kind of take it and and, and and run with it and run with the projects um and so you know, I kind of had this discussion again, and I really wanted to make sure I was clear. And I'm like, listen, like, I think it's smart for me to wake up, you know, take care of my family in the morning. And then, like, once the family's out of the house, I can, I can sit here at my desk. I can knock out emails, schedules, orders, like, all this stuff. I can knock out all this office stuff from 8 to like 9, 9.30 and then jump in the truck and go to the job site once traffic's kind of cleared out and then go to the job sites. By then, the trades have been on site. You know, they have a, um, you know, they have a bunch of questions. I can answer all the questions and stuff like that and I can start to do my rounds and then I can kind of like, you know, stop into the office on my, on my rounds you know, but I mean, I would, I would hope that they would realize, like, it makes no sense for me to just come to the office just to make a presence in the office if all my work is up here, you know? So. And that's what I'm struggling with. And that's, that's, that's what I'm struggling with is that right there. It's like, will people understand? Yeah. And the only way to make it work is to show them, like, like, I get my shit done, you know? Like, that's how, that's how you show them. Yeah. But yeah. Um. We got some mail. We got some mail. Mm-hmm. What did I get? What did I get? Which one's this one? Oh, I love these shipping shields. What's in this, Gina? What's in this? Uh, there we go. It's the size of my palm. I wonder what it could be. Are there two of them in here? Or is it just one? just one and it's already in a perfect fit Ooh, don't tuck what Nazis. there it is whoop, whoop. there's one thought sees Oh, do not tuck. <laughs> yeah, the little, the little, uh, the little shipping shield. What's this one? I, I ordered a couple different. 
But this might be just all thought seizes. It might be all thought seizes. And this is just one. Yeah. Boom. There's a second one. Is that the playset done? Yeah, I pulled the trigger because I have not seen Thoughtseize below $10 in a while. And I grabbed, I wanna say I grabbed four around like seven or eight bucks. So, ooh, it isn't all just Thoughtseize's collecting card too. This one, this one I paid 20 bucks for. And I have not seen it go below 20. And I'll be pissed if a year from now, if it's nothing. But I don't think so. Because this this one seemed to be pretty rare. But there is the uh, 30th Anniversary Edition Glen Eldra Archmage. Let's see if I can get her out. Let's get her out. Hard plastic. There's the foil. There's the. Nope. That's not what I do. See the 30? Yeah, look at that. And then it's got the 20 or 2008 down in the corner. So now I'm just waiting for uh, Core Haven to come in. Was it three envelopes? One, two, three envelopes. Yep. So, give me one second. Comfy pajama pants on. So, we go into here. So, here's my... Here's my, uh, my 30th anniversary collection. And she goes right here. Oh, she's not in a perfect fit. Though. Uh, I don't think I have one on my desk, so I'm gonna steal one of these thought seizes. Steal this perfect fit. Oh, it's a side loader perfect fit. You want to make me want to start collecting again? <laughs> Only if you can afford it, dude. And me, I don't even know if I should be doing this right now, but I'm trying to buy low. Because I have a feeling everything's going to take off again this year with uh, Modern Horizons. There she is. Now there she is. So... Oops. Keep hitting the mic. So I've got some. So let's see. I've got some. Uh, I got my Black is Magic Secret Layer card that I haven't used in there because I love them. My money just goes into stream, so this would be an excuse to do pack opening. Yeah, man. I mean, I opened up bunch of uh Karlov Manor on, on stream. Um but yeah black is magic reserve list um Yavimaya uh Yavimaya Hollow Reserve List uh sorry Reserve List Yogmoth uh Bargain Um Radiant Archangel Reserve List Avenging Angel Reserve List so these are like the only reserve list cards that I've ever owned. 
Um, this is a uh, Mercadian mask uh, foil mountain, so it's an old foil. Um, I mean, it's like five bucks, but I mean, it's just it looks so beautiful compared to foils now. So I put it here. My this is my collection binder that like never leaves the house. This is my this is my baby. Um, this is a pre-release Avatar Hope, and then camera didn't like the page flip. Oh, I dropped some frames. Damn, and that wasn't even encoding. Um, these are the oil slick. Oh gosh. These are the oil slick. So got four, uh, two of each basic land in oil slick. And then I got a sword of forge and frontier oil slick and a capricious hellraiser oil slick, which the sword of forge forge and frontier is a good card. Capricious hellraiser is not that great, but, and then starts the 30th anniversary promos. So these are all the 30th anniversary promos. This is where core Haven goes. So I'm going to be getting that soon. Um, that should be on its way. Um, so core Haven will go there and then it's basically one magic card for each year of magic. They picked one for each year. So, um, so I collected each year for the 30, 30th anniversary. So there's that. And then they did a secret layer. They did a secret layer with a special treatment of a card for each year as well. This was a 30th anniversary Christmas um, secret layer drop. And it was, uh, what was cool is each one was individually wrapped with the year on it. So you could treat, I treated it like a, uh, like an advent calendar. It was kind of fun. So, and each card had a, 33 like a 30% chance or something like that or basically 33.33 or something like that but basically a 30% chance of being a foil so some of these are worth more than others because they're foils and they're all like reprints but in different styles of art so and there's all those um, and then the bonus card was a uh, was a lotus field and then this is my this is my transformers secret layer so i love transformers didn't really want to use any of the cards you know didn't really uh, you know don't don't want to trade them or anything so and they got cool like like uh, Megatron and Optimus Prime and the All Spark, and it's like a extended art between the three cards. So I put all those next to each other. It looks pretty cool. And then these were none of these are really worth anything except for maybe Slicer. Um, he's pretty good in uh, C C E D H. But these were the uh, Transformers cards that were in the Brothers War packs, and these were the ones that I ended up collecting. And I just love Transformers, so I put them in my in my personal collection binder. I think that's it. I don't think I have anything else in here. Yes, yeah, so this is my this is my baby collection. This is the one that doesn't leave the house. So that's the one that doesn't leave the house. And then the blue one is penny rares. So the blue one's penny rares. Uh the little one is um You'd fill a binder with Pokemon cards? Yeah. My, um, I buy Pokemon cards for my daughter. Um, so she's got, she's got some. And I've got, I gave her, I gave her some of my old ones, um, that I found at, uh, that I found at my mom's house. But, woo! Yeah, yeah, she does. She likes Pokemon. She likes it a lot. So, she's, she's not into the cards now i think she will be later um so you know we'll see we'll see what happens on that um i think she's a little too young for like a true pokemon game right now um so but i did see that pokemon snap was on sale and i kind of want to get it for her 
because I think she'd really dig Pokemon Snap. Um, Pokemon Sleep? <laughs> Isn't that an actual thing? Pokemon Sleep? I feel like that's a actual thing. I can't remember. It's an app? Uh, okay. Um... They're releasing a digital card app, which is a little weird. Like, I don't know if like, I don't know if it'll have, they'll have value or what? Like, I, I don't, I don't know if they're trying to do like an NFT thing. Pokemon come to you while you're sleeping. So instead of uh, catching them, you just nap together. Oh, that's cool. Um, but yeah excuse me guys sorry about that um but yeah um so yeah so that's some of the stuff i've been buying so i should have two more thought seasons on the way that'll be my play set of thought seas. um they are reprinting it in a special um in a special sheet whatever they call it i can't remember what they call the Basically, it's like a whole reprint sheet in the in the Outlaws of Thunder set. Uh, um, the reprint doesn't look that great. Um, so I'll be interested to see if the reprint's really cheap, and then they and then the uh, the original boat borders um, hold more value. So, and if that's the case, I don't give a shit what it looks like. It's a good card, and I'll just buy the cheapest version. <laughs> but uh but yeah so but yeah uh what, what was i saying blue penny rares little black binder next to the blue right there is my take to the card shop binder it's like small goes in my backpack easy i like it um the big gray one is all my like playables like this is the stuff that i can build decks with and stuff like that like, stuff i don't really want to trade away and that if i do trade away i only bring it out at like friends magic nights here you know or at my buddy's house um i don't really bring it out uh an old empty binder and then i've got another old empty binder that's got some <laughs> hopper hopper stuff i've got i think i've got my um which i gotta put these in there but i i've been collecting the uh the gold signature series art cards some of them are like worth a couple bucks so i don't know if you can see the gold on there but they're just the art series cards so But yeah, um, we need to talk about emotes at some point, all the, um, definitely all the subscribers I want, I want all my subscribers to input, um, to input what they would like to see for emotes. So yeah, I'm trying to do some, I'm trying to do some, I'm trying to, uh, contract somebody um, it's, it's actually, it's really cool. Um, just ran into them and they're local and I played magic against them one time. So, um, so that was a cool store. Um, so they're local peeps and I've already been talking with him. And so as far as like, I was talking with him, like how many I need. So, um, I would like to do an emote, uh, like, brew stream like where we brew ideas of what we want because like i've got 11 regular emotes i got 11 regular emotes um to do and then i have nine animated so the animated ones can be the ones we already have just animated so we can have a still and an animated version or 
nine additional animated ones. Um, we got the bit tiers. Um, I, I can do three different bit tier badges. I've got 17 sub badges, but we can break it down. Um, maybe to like, let's see, I've been streaming for push thinks I've been streaming for like seven years, right? Four. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm thinking about just dropping, dropping an amount and just getting them all done. And then, because basically I have to catch up right back when I was streaming, affiliates only had three emotes affiliates only had an emote basically for each um for each subscription tier um so you know now now i have like all these options for emotes that i didn't have four years ago so um and then i have two badge sub badge flares <laughs> so tier two and tier three can have a different sub badge than tier one so um And then the, the sub badges are for uh, amount of time subbed. And so it says I have 17 available, but they're there. They did like five, five and a half month or something like that. It's something weird. And so we could probably break it down to like six month, one year, 18 months, two year, you know, and like break it down, you know, that way. Um, so. And actually, I could probably even just do. I could probably just do. Up to three years. So do like six sub badges. Out of the 17 for right now. Kind of bring down. Bring down the amount. Something like that. So. But. First, I got to figure out what we're going to do. First, we're gonna, I got to figure out what we're going to do. So, because like, do I make some of my own with just like me doing like my own, like, you know, Dirk's Pog? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Zolman says probably wait on the animated ones because you can double stack still ones. That's what I was talking about. Is like, it, are there still ones that we would also want animated? So, uh, yeah. All right. Well, we've been uh, shooting the shit for almost an hour already. Um, so if you guys haven't checked out Zoloman, I go and hang out in his stream a lot. Um, we, uh, yeah, good, good emotes are usable in many chats. Yeah. And that's kind of what I want your guys' feedback for. Um, but yeah, Zola has been playing some pretty cool games and, um, you know, uh, he's, he's a really cool guy to hang out and he's got some D and D content coming soon. And then if y'all go and follow Gina, um, probably got about two more weeks of planning possibly. So I would say in about two, three weeks, we should be starting Crimson Throne. I would think somewhere in there. Um, so, um, Go follow Gina. Go follow Zoloman. Um, also, uh, during the day, a lot of times, uh, Oni's um, Oni's streaming. Um, I've been I've been catching uh, his streams, um, doing Apex Legends, which is fun to watch. So, um, but yeah, these are some of our fellow streamer friends that are hanging up hanging out with us tonight and y'all need to go follow these these guys um these peeps and go follow them 
and just go drop in their chat and just say, hey, because a lot of times they're streaming when I'm not and you should support them, you know, just as much as you support me. So um, really good, really good people. So good people that have supported this channel. So we should go support theirs. So, um, so yeah, go check them out. Go give them a follow. Um, what do you guys say we play some, uh, Baldur's Gate? Why don't we do the thing? Why don't we do the thing that we came here for? And everybody pray for the frames. Oh, here's screen art from Magic Legends that never came out. <laughs> there you go. There's a, there's a screenshot of a game that never came out. That got canceled. Womp womp. How wide is this shot? It is around 13 inches. I've always got a tape measure next to me. That's what I get for being a builder. The, uh, how you doing, girl? What are we getting into today, Thea? What are we getting into today? <coughs> Find a cure. Because they were infected too. Deep within the Underdark. Oh, so Susser trees are deep within the Underdark. Nice. Womp womp. All the Civ 6 stuff went on Super Sale. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. Ask the goblin priestess for help. This might be one way to cure it. Right. I think we did our long rest. Let's... It was 22 bucks. Ooh. Steam? Super sale on Steam? Oh, what just popped up here in the corner? Who's playing Civ 6? Who's playing Civ 6 over here on this corner? Saw that. On Steam. Okay, okay, okay. Jeez. Me! Let's go talk to the priestess. Let's head out this way. With haste. With haste. <laughs> Haven't seen that game in years. 
This thing's working. Ooh, bloody amulet. Oh, this is... This is where he landed. Womp womp. Womp womp. Locations of interest. Elfsong Tavern. Flushing Mermaid. Moonhaven Ruins. Underdark. Wolven. Likely taken by force. Interview unsavory elements known and unknown. I will find. Dear Blind, Wolverine's mother, her name, a right to inquire, a right to inform, a right in relation to flames. Two flames in the four five times nine forty eight. Tiny specks of blood cover this amulet. They have pooled into the engravings on the back, spelling out the name Wolver in a grizzly brown hue. Sorry, dude. Missing children. Missing children. Maggie Terrans, Marcus Terrans, Mathen Deach, Rochelle Kirk. Hmm. <coughs> Is there anything else over here? over here. So the absolute <clears throat> she's up over here can I get to her is the question Well, that ends not as bad as it could have. That's curious. Ooh, that's the chest. Ooh, I have an achievement. Dig for treasure. Oh, take it. Gold blindness.
Kiko! This here's off limits. Get to the main gate, or I'll plug you full of arrows. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> so there is a main gate. <coughs> I hope I'm not getting sick. What's in here? So we've already kind of been this way a little bit. Where we fought those one dudes. Pick that stuff up for the alchemy pouch, which we kind of figured that out last session, how some of that works. Usually burlap sacks are nothing. did this with I did this with them Oh, I can't remember what this does. I have something to ask. He of the unsleeping eyes. Grant me the might to carry this burden. Grant me the faith to face darkness without fear. HC, thank you, buddy. Okay, I couldn't hear it because I had to turn the output off. 
on notifications. Did you guys hear that? I only saw it in chat, and I'm sorry if I paused right there. I was looking at the audio. Yeah, it worked. So hopefully you guys hear it, but it doesn't go into the Twitch VOD. And that way I can upload the Twitch VOD to YouTube and not get, cop not get copyrighted. May as well use it, right? Yeah, my, may as well, man. May as well. I mean, I'm sorry you had to waste it today on me, but, you know. <laughs> Thank you, HC. Thank you, buddy. I do appreciate your support. I don't really feel like saying that. What the hell's happened here? A massacre. Drow and goblins slaughtered the lot. Please, just leave me be. No, 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 no. She said leave me be. I promise my shield and my sword, Vigilant One. Let them be my courage. I hear shouting. Someone needs help. Someone needs help? We'll never put this fire out. You're better off helping anyone trapped inside. If it's not a different audio track, then it won't uh, then it won't go into the VOD. Yeah, that's what I was trying to set up, but I had so that I could hear the notifications, I had it on monitor. And it was coming through when I checked the VOD, it was coming through, I believe, my desktop audio channel. Because I had it on monitor. Now if you excuse me for a moment while I continue dying for democracy. Hell diver. You do what you gotta do. Keep spreading the virus. For Super Earth. We do this for Super Earth. I not like attempt to fill that up with water.
Wait, was that one of the missing kids? I can't remember their names. Oh, that was one of the missing kids. Wait. Can't move. Someone help. Broken door. Empty, you suck. Oh, shit. There was something explosive on the other side. Oh, well, now he's dead. No, I have multiple sources. Uh, I've got desktop audio mic, notifications, uh, sub goal, Yeti, which is the mic again. I gotta, I gotta fix that. Oh boy, this is chugging now. Pick it up. Pick up the water barrel. Grand Duke Raven Guard could be inside. Don't just stand there. Push. Let's see if we can make it. Critical thing. <laughs> Damn, find another way inside. How about how about you? Hey. Grand Duke Raven Guard could be inside. Don't just stand there. Push. Carlac won't fail. Inside, hurry. We don't have much time. Just a bit over, you know, right? My faith protects me. The, Is that uh, blood? No, never mind. Well, hello. No time to rest. Wanna dance? Is it gonna get everybody? <gasps> it didn't get shadow. Damn. Gotta get going. Hopefully your words <coughs> don't kill your vod. 
We can try to workshop it in Discord if it still gives you trouble. Thanks, Zola. Appreciate it, man. Hey, have a great night, dude. Have a great night. And if you're streaming tonight, good luck, man. We'll, maybe we'll see you. Who knows? Okay. So, Shadowheart, do you What's have... Next? I don't want to use one of your healing spells. <laughs> Need healing potions, man. I need healing potions. No one stopped me yet. I swear that was touching Thea as well. That's okay. We'll go with this. Can't slow down. See him. That's where they're coming from. Damn, why am I blinded? I'd love to, thanks. Before she walked through water or through fire, Thea, like you can't path around it. How are you blind? You're literally like made of stuff. How are you not immune? This doesn't make sense.
now. I'm afraid proper thanks must wait. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh. Uh. Okay. Still don't know how Carlac's affected by this, but. Democracy prevails once more. Uh. Of course, I pretty much. Uh. What? That is not the case. Pressure. At last. Your boldness is a No, blessing. no TPKs. I'm in your debt. Counselor, are you alright? It takes more than mere fire to break me, Eva. Now listen close, Fist. Duty calls. Drow have taken Grand Duke Alder Ravenguard westward, if my eyes and ears can be believed. Gauntlet, report to the man and send for reinforcements. We must find the Duke. On your command, Counselor. The rest of you, count the dead. Take word of their sacrifice to this city. And you, I must ask again for your aid. Please, rescue Ravenguard from his drow captors. The Council will reward you for your effort. May I trust you'll see it through? Hmm. Who is this Duke Raven? The invisible force holding Baldur's Gate together. Without him, the city's collapse is certain. I fear that may have been mm. the intention of those who abducted him. <laughs> Thank you. And should your courage falter, remember the Duke's generosity. Go. You should pick up the drow trail with ease. I will seek reinforcements and join you when I can. Fist, to work. We learned that the Grand Duke was captured by drow and taken westwards. You receive... The Sparky Points. <laughs> That's an awesome name. This is a uh, trident. The jolt shooter. The, the jolt shooter. Electric blood. When the wheeler deals damage using the weapon, they gain two lightning charges. Uh, li lightning charge traditions. Lightning courses through you. You have a plus one to attack rolls and deal an additional one lightning damage. You gain five charge. Soon, the next time you deal damage, and you deal an additional one to eight lightning damage. Ooh. Okay. okay. Quarter staff. All right. I guess everybody group together. Burn yourselves. I guess we're done here.
Hit it again. That's curious. What do they notice? My day just improved. Did you want something? Just want to. What did what did our stream? What did he say? It's a burrow hole. Ah! That thing is tiny, and I am not. Ah! I am not. Stop. Get out of the fire. You're not in fire. Stop with the fire walking. Look, all this is not on fire. Stop standing in the fire. Help me help you. <laughs> Nothing like showing up to a uh, scene of fire and getting some smoked sausages. <laughs> There. I did that. I did that for you guys. Well, my day just improved. Did you want something? No, go. No, I just want to walk. Need to find a way forward. Dude, Why are we slowing down? No, because I don't know. Oh my god, why do we have not 10 lines of text? Okay, so clearly we need to talk to Carla. We have not gotten to know her. Yeah? Oh, just walk forward, yo. Please. Thank you. Trust no one. Can't give up now. So we saved the person. I don't know if there's the really much else we can do here.
dragon. God preserve me. It would be too much to hope that's nothing to do with us, wouldn't it? You go a lifetime without seeing one, and then they won't stop pestering you. That thing could swallow us in a gulp. Um, was that far over? Could have swore the dragon was right here. Thank you, patrol. How do we get to this goblin princess? This mountain pass. Mm. That's towards the Gith Yankee Patrol. But what we want to do is we want to go down mountain pass. Anything up here? No. I go that way. It looks like Thea and Shadowheart. I'm sorry to tell you that. They're HC. I think they're in love. Drop your weapons! I'll feed your innards to the ants before I do that, Istik. This is your last chance! No, look up. That was your last chance, Istik. Now burn! Yo! Wasting time, Beretta. You're not here to play with the locals. Of course, Kithrak. We merely sought to. No excuses. Question, kill, then move on. Find the weapon. Our queen watches us. Fail her at your peril. I hate to be negative, but those gifts will carve you up like a goose. I agree. I want nothing to do with them. Right? No, I'm good. I want to go talk to the guy. How do I get to the guy?
holy water. Why do I feel like I'm missing something as far as how I get to how I get to here? That's not what I want. Um, I don't think I'm missing anything as far as how to get there. Um, I'm going to go to camp. I'm going to grab my fellow. What's up for this? grab Lizel. The Blade of Frontiers in the guise of a devil. I'd remark on the irony, but I'd hate to waste the breath. Still, it took guts to defy that petty patron of his. The Blade's sting is real. Mm. Make space, and my might is yours. I feel like she should take Shadowheart's place because Shadowheart and her do not get ready for battle. Assume nothing. Level her up. Oh shit, we dropped a bunch of frames at some point. What the fuck? Hell yeah, Battlemaster? Yeah, no, I want Battlemaster. I love Battlemaster. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah, because I did superiority die. Oh, fuck yeah. Yo, this is, I love, this was my, um, this was my D&D character. I'm actually a fighter in the, uh, Needs play through this. Okay. 
fainting attack. You can use both your action and bonus action on the turn to attack a target with advantage. Ooh. Oh, but it's not two attacks. Goading attack. Deal an additional 1d8 and attempt to goad the target into attacking you. No. I'm hit. It's like which friendly creature will gain half of, half of movement speed and not the one Ooh, I kind of like that. Maneuvering attack. Menacing attack. Many frames were lost in the pursuit of liberty. Now I'm losing them again. I just lost a little bit more. Well, so it's not the Ethernet cord. That was one other thing I tried. Frightens. Um, cannot move. Frighten entities also have disadvantage on ability checks and attack. I like that one too. Precision attack. Because it's a 1d6 for a precision attack. is a good one. Sweeping attack. I feel like we don't like run into like a lot of hordes. I like disarming for sure. I feel like we're past I feel like rally. Proceeding. No one back home will ever believe this. Will's brows furrow as your minds connect. He sees the burning embers of Joaquin's rest, then Floric's face as she tells you of Raven God's abduction. Hells, old Raven God's been taken. Oh. And she's been playing too much Helldivers. He's all the way in, man. He's, uh, he has drank the propaganda Kool Aid. He's all about managed to my. Oh my goodness. Look at the frames drop. What is going on? I wonder if it's the I 
wonder if it's the actual, like, Google Mesh Network node that acts as the router. I wonder if it's just going. Because I had, because when I took it out of storage, I had one that just wouldn't connect at all. And then I got two to work out of like the three or four I had. I left one, left one at their house. And then we had three in a pack from the last house. Hmm. What do I do? Do I... Do I... Ask Spectrum to just put their supplied router in? So that way they can actually monitor it and stuff, but then I pay monthly for it. Or do I spend money on a on a Google Mesh pod thing? What are those running these days? Sixty bucks. Yeah, because what I'm using is a 20. Oh, it's it. Actually, it remembers it. Wow, that's crazy, Amazon. So I purchased these back in 2019. What's up, 20 past? Welcome back. to do on that. Yeah, just drop more frames.
frustrating, man. Why is it doing this? Sounds like we need to send these frames to war so they can man up and stop dropping like fuck, fuck. For managed democracy. Gosh, man. This is frustrating. into that tomorrow. Yes, Drow set fire to the inn and stole away with the dude. Then we need to seek him out and get him to safety. You see, Grand Duke Raven Guard is my father. I know I haven't said. Wow. Our relation was no matter of pride, not least for him. Curious, I heard Duke Ravengard's son left the city. You heard right. My father and I were close once upon a time, until he disowned me and cast me out of Baldur's Gate. I can't tell you more. The pact forbids it. My lips are quite literally sealed. He made me an exile. That said, I'm not about to let him suffer at the hands of his captors. What do you think the drow want with your father? I've been asking myself the same question. What makes a Duke of Baldur's Gate so interesting to the drow? Uh, Even the houses Warframe. of Menzo uh. Baranzan would have little use for my father. No, this is no drow plot. These absolute nutters, these true souls are behind his abduction. His absence alone will sow chaos in the city. If they were to infect him, he could lead Baldur's Gate to ruin. All the more reason to find him. The Absolute has seized not just my father, but the future of the Sword Coast. Will could star in an episode of Count's Customs with those handlebars. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Nuh-uh, Nate. I dare you to prove it. I know. 
Should we keep secrets? And you're away? right. My story is one of two men. The Blade of Frontiers. A man hunting the fiends who prey on the weak and claw at the coast. And Will Ravengard. A memory of a memory. A man who belongs to the past. What's the button I wanted you to know the resupply? blade, not the shadow he left behind. I'm all for it. Let's talk about something else. So then it's literally like, what is it like being the son of a grand dude? Not so enchanting as you'd think. The poor tears, the cold wells, they were the blue bloods hosting the fancy balls and drinking from gold goblets. Father's the son of a blacksmith, born with barely a coin in the coffers. He made a name for himself among the Flaming Fist. Brave as Balderan, stubborn as a deep rofe. Daring, outspoken, but hardly posh. <laughs> I spent more time dueling with Father than I did rubbing elbows with lords. Not to say I didn't develop a taste for good wine and a talent for courtly dance. Courtly dance? I'd love to see a demonstration. <clears throat> It's been a badger's age since I've twinkled my toes. A drunk ogre could put on a better show. Come on, for me? Tempting. Uh, give it some time. Develop a bond and maybe I'll show you a move or two. Down, down, upright. Damn it, he got me. You're you you drink you drank all the Kool-Aid HC. You are one hundred percent in the in the super earth propaganda, man. How does it feel to be a it devil? It said that anyone who bathes in the river of blood emerges as one born anew. It's a lot like that, I imagine. I feel the weight of these horns on my head, curling upwards like a mammoth's tusks. I feel these ridges snaking down my neck, not to mention a few bumps and prongs in unmentionable places. But I haven't seen my reflection just yet. Be my mirror. What do you see? <laughs> Quite the handsome devil, if I didn't say so. Freak of nature, gods, but you're hideous. I see the Blade of Frontiers, no more, no less. A fiend who's been touched by the hells. I don't know what to make. I see the Blade of Frontiers, no more, no more. <laughs> it's because you know the heart lurking under the horns. The people will see <laughs> a curiosity. Maybe even a beast hungry for their souls. But I will slay their monsters. Keep them safe. Oh, yeah. And one day they will <laughs> see the Blade of Frontiers again. You should get out of this pack. A possibility that's kept me awake countless nights. But I don't have a clue where to start other than play her games and play by the rules. That's the only language devils listen to. Mm. There must be some loophole in the contract that lets you out. There could well be. She has the blighted thing. What I know of it is simply what has engraved itself upon my memory. My contract is very clear. I can bring Mazora no harm. She'll have to let me out of my pact willingly. The only way out is if I can out-bargain her. We're standing here with nothing but the clothes on our backs and the worms in our heads. We can we can beat her beat her if I, if we put our worms together. We can. I'm sure of it. 
How glad I am that you see me as more than my patron's pet. Yeah. Have to keep going. Soldier. How did you end up with such a contraption in your chest? The year, ten air. The place, sleepy little town called Baldur's Gate. Our hero, Karlak, a knock-kneed delinquent from the outer city, with everything to give and nothing to lose. I was a kid looking for a way to fill my days and make some cash when I fell into the wrong crowd. Worked for a guy I respected, a lot. Turns out the feeling wasn't mutual. Through the jigs and the reels, he made a deal with Zariel behind my back. You know Zariel, right? Archdevil of Avernus. She put this thing in my chest and set me to work. Well, to war. Mm. I learned quick how to stay alive. And the engine served me when it came to killing devils. Ten years of that. The stories I could tell. You mentioned a boss who gave you up to Zario. Who was it? Guy named Gortash. Politician. Inventor. One of these wheeler dealer types who seems to have a finger in every pie. I guess I was naive to think everything he got up to was above board. What did I know? I saw a job. A good job. With people I liked. Doing work I was good at. Sometimes I'm jealous of that girl. Oh, to feel so invincible again. Sounds like we need to fix your engine. Sounds like all we need to do to fix your engine is find some infernal iron. Thought we had to do more. Let's hope Damon is as good as he seems. Once my engine's handled, I can focus on more important matters. Tadpoles, cults, frosty pints. <laughs> what does that infernal engine do to you? Gives me energy. Power. But you've seen it in action. Very hard to control. If I'm excited at all, angry, nervous, delighted, enticed, I burn hot. Hot enough to burn anyone who gets close. Mm. What's that been like? Agonizing. God's what I wouldn't give for a hug. A pat. Anything. You've never met anyone so desperate for a hug as this one right here. Pathetic, <laughs> perhaps, but true. It's my lot to bear, and I bear it badly. Ah, oh, well. Can't have it all, can you? Not today, at least. Hot. Yeah? <laughs> Jeez. In your expert opinion, what's the best way to kill a devil? Depends on the type. Ice devils hate an inferno, but that's an easy one. Orthons love projectiles. What they don't love is getting their bombs lobbed right back in their faces. Demons, on the other hand, every demon is absolutely singular. You can't ever think you've got them typed out. Sharp instincts, sharp weapons, and a knack for improvisation. That's the only way to survive them. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what were we talking about? <laughs> Girlie's touch starved? I know. I like Carlac already. I like her. This isn't where I thought I'd end up. How about you? Funny you should ask. I was just thinking about what would have become of us without that Nautiloid. I mean, I know where I'd be. Trapped in Avernus still, with the Blade of Frontiers on my tail. But what about you? I'd be back in my home, not caring the least. Oh, man. Lucky you. That's the dream. Maybe when this is all done, you can show me where you came from. 
My family home's long gone, but I'll show you my favorite chow hall in the city, if it's still standing. <laughs> Soldier. You and Mazora seem to know each other. How? Huh. We were both part of Zariel's inner circle. Her by choice, me by force. In the grand scheme of things, I'm inconsequential to Zariel. Sure, I've got the engine, but I wasn't even her strongest fighter. She favored me like a child favors a captive pet. Mizora envied the attention, I suppose. I'm sure when Zariel gave her the order to hunt me down, Mizora was delighted. Do you think she'll keep coming after you? I don't know. You'd think she'd have more important things to do. Devils and their pride. I can see why you were so keen to escape. <sighs> no kidding. The fighting, the chaos, the betrayal. <laughs> it had the makings of a good stage show, but I did not want to be one of the players. What do you know about the city of Alterel falling into a vermin? It wasn't all that long ago. I never knew the whole of how and why, but I remember the devil slavering with delight. I should have looked after the Elterans more. Gone out of my way to make sure they were all right. The long and short of it was I didn't want to risk my neck. I let them get on with the nightmare, same as I had to. But Avernus is no place for decent folk. I'm glad they got out. So glad. What's the story? All right, so we're all caught up with Carla. I think Shadowheart's pissed at me. I was hoping you'd come to chat. What do you need? Thought she'd be upset. Didn't we have like a potion to help us jump farther? Drink this to triple your jump distance 10 turns. But I only have two of them, so it doesn't help me get the rest of the party over that. I wonder if I I wonder if I have to go through the Githyanki to then get down towards whatever this front gate of the goblin camp is. No, no. Oh, thought that would pick it up. Damn it. I didn't want to take it. Oh, fucking A. One minute something you double click goes into your inventory, the next minute it fucking drinks it. Like, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. <sighs> Alright, let's just leave camp. Might as well use it. Son of a bitch, dude. Did they all make it? How? That might be worth a look. How did they all make it? <laughs> I'm way too big. But I was never gonna make it in the first place? It makes no fucking sense, dude. Oh, a star ain't didn't make it? But there's four of them. Oh, 
Oh, do I need to go down in the... Recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others, only infinitely stronger. Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape, nothingness in every direction. Then there are three figures before you an armored male elf exuding power and command, a handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile, and a pale young woman with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the weapon, and you will be worthy to stand beside them in my presence. What the visions the fade and the voice falters as a strange energy swells around you. The many-sided artifact. Somehow you understand it's repelling the presence. My power grows. My forces gather. The reckoning draws near. The voice is quelled. The artifact's doing. Whoa, what the fuck? That voice, the, those visions, what just happened? No answer presents itself. The artifact is dormant. The voice and visions are gone. Yo, we got the same artifact that uh, Homegirl does. Okay, interesting. Let's have a look. Hmm. What's that? Smoke powder bomb. No accuracy. Scroll of Raven Peak. So the only way to talk to the goblin princess is to get in the burrow hole, huh? Well, shit.
Ryder, my time is short. Lead me to... Shh, shh, shh. Such a familiar tone. Were I not merciful, I would slice the skin clean from your meat. Yet you are not bleeding. For I am nothing if not merciful. Your name, child. Nandela's at Lazel. Go ahead. Lazel. Lazel. Proud. Regal, even. You will call me Gestil Kithrak. Vos, Knight Supreme. The Queen's Silver, the Queen's Sword. I am who you say. A Geek vessel has fallen from the sky, Lazel. Thieves aboard have taken a weapon most precious. It is polyhedric in shape and inscribed with the sacred runes of our people. You suddenly feel a strange anxiety uh -oh. take hold. Not your own, but that of the artifact you carry. Somehow, it's afraid you attune your mind to it. The artifact does not want to part from you. It does not want to fall into the Gith Raiders' hands. Take word to your crash. You are to join our search. Speak up, child. Affirm your mandate. Whoa. Um... This is a decision tree, huh? <laughs> Gosh, what do we tell him? I kind of just want to play along. Mm. Okay, so so Shadow Heart has the same artifact, right? Oh crap! I just rubbed Neil Spawn in my face. Oh. Um. So. Shadowheart has the same artifact, so I don't really want to present it and possibly Ooh. Compr compromise her in the future, but her artifact seems to be tied to, gosh, I can't remember what her, what her name is now, um, but like the dark, the dark princess or whatever, um, I don't know what it means by mouth a silent command to Lysel true. But if I fail the persuasion, I feel like I go into combat. And I really don't want to go into combat and die. So do I just do truth? Am I thinking the right way on this? Persuasion? Hmm. Fuck it. Persuasion. You honor me with this duty, Kithrak. I shall alert my caretaker with haste. The Kithrak nods. 
content with Lazel's answer. You serve your queen well, child. Take your slaves and hunt those who escaped the Geich ship. They must carry the weapon. I fly now to Vlakith, our undying queen. She will see your faith rewarded in this plane and ours. A current of deception carries Voss's words. Wherever he flies, it is not to Vlakith. To Danos! To the sky! Can't, like, dragons... Like... Figure out... Damn it, deception? Roll. You did well to intervene. Vexed as I am to admit it. The Gestil Kithrak would have flayed our skin and left our carcasses to burn in the sun. All for the sake of the artifact that we carry. The crash is near, this much we know. We follow the path forward and into the valley. No one, not even the ignobles just still Kithrak, will keep me from my purification. Hmm. Charlatan silver blade, silver tongue. Well, look at that. Everybody's gonna be leveling up. Dragon destroyed the road. No. level up a little bit look at you with the nat 20 i suppose you were do do one after all the nat ones you've been getting <laughs> man i'm telling you you should watch us uh watch us over on uh on uh, gina's channel there's a reason why we call ourselves the naturals because it's either a natural one or it's a natural 20 there is no in between <laughs> it seems like Select a feat. Shit. What did I take? I think I took lucky.
Martial Adept. Performer. Brazilian. Savage Attacker. Sharpshooter. Your ranged weapon attacks do not receive penalties from high ground rules. Ranged weapon, range weapon attacks with weapons you are proficient with have a minus five penalty their, to their attack roll, but deal an additional 10 damage. So it's like power attack for bows. Okay. Okay. I think they took lucky if I remember right. I would probably take Lucky or Sharpshooter. What would you guys take? Lucky or Sharpshooter? I feel like Lucky, right? Like Lucky's like a really, really good one to have. Well, uh, to be fair, you need all the luck you can get. So, yeah. What's lucky? So you gain three luck points, which you can use to gain advantage on attack rolls, ability checks, or saving throws. Or to make an enemy re-roll their attack rolls. So... You can use a luck point to gain advantage on your next ability check. The replenishable resource, uh, you recharge one per long rest. You can use your luck points to gain advantage or force an enemy to redo their roll. So I think you just basically make them re-roll. Re but I think, yeah, lucky seems way better. I think it is. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think that's what I took in in our in our uh, thing. Spell, sleep, disguise self, color spray. This is level one. What does it mean up to a combined? Oh, 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 you blind things that are that. HP, got it. Sky Cell? Wine has disadvantage on attack rolls, range of attacks, and spells reduced to 10 feet. Oh, color spray is pretty good too. Hmm. Minus 5 plus 10 seems pretty rough in DD. Yeah. Is a rogue. Hmm. 
<laughs> I'm stuck between blind and disguised self. Select the feet. Oh, I don't I've never played Rose. Defensive duelists. Because what do I? Because a dagger is considered a finesse weapon, right? Gain proficiency with four weapons of your choice, and your strength or dexterity increases by one. So max hmm. Yep. What? Yep. What? Ooh, when making weapon melee, dagger is finesse? Okay. When making melee weapon attacks, you roll your damage dice twice and use the highest result. Would that be pretty good for sneak attack? Savage attacker? I kind of like that. I don't think I need mobile because he's got uh, disengage. Do I do dual wielder? Do I do savage attacker? I don't want to do dual wielder. Well, he's already got two. Does he have two daggers? Yep. 
points. Could give him two short swords. Because he is proficient with short swords. Barbarian. Charge your weapon attack, deal more damage, charge forward and slam your weapon into the first enemy in your way. It doesn't provoke opportunity attacks. Great Weapon Master. Which she's currently wielding. She's a barbarian. Savage attacker? You give her savage attacker? So that she's just your make her into a big tank your hit point maximum increases for by two for every level you have made. Marshall Adept. Man, Marshall Adept seems cool too. Oh, what do you do with, what do you do with a barbarian? Bonus attack. Oh, 
gonna go great weapon master. I think. I don't remember because I think I did great weapon master. Although I could do martial adept. I great weapon. to put my hands on everything make sure you type any loose ends before advancing warning the area you're about to enter will be bitterly difficult for a part of your level all right so i guess we're not going this way okay we have hit the end of that road Parasites. Will we survive them? Only if my people extract them. The only other cure is the blade. Okay. Wonderful. Let's see if the cloud save drops these. I don't think so. Oh, he was right there. Shh. Um. Crap. Good. Wasted a turn. This way. Not what I want to do. It's okay.
should have like hit or something. Oh sh shit, I don't have Shadow Heart, so I don't have healing. I don't have a healer. Unless I'm forgetting something. Oh, she just one shot at him. Yup, let's go. I will ascend. She can at least heal herself. Two dudes over there. Oh. oh, man, I didn't realize that she could do that. Seething Fury. I don't think it really matters who we attack. So.
Don't waste a step. Breaker ranged. Nice. with that round. Conditions or a bloodthirst. Okay. I don't want any weaknesses. So that only did seven? I thought it did I thought it does double. Wow, seven was the highest result? Okay. Oh, it doesn't move her? Oh, get the hell out of here. Ranks. Not nasty anymore. She's already done it. Huh? Taste my fury. <laughs> of course it is. Oh, 
kill the dead. Nice. Huh? Take that. The pack leader's mind clamps onto yours. You see yourself through her eyes, a pulsing red cluster of organs. Feast. No, the voice has forbidden this meat. Nor see your whole world as a meal. This voice is acting as a leash, huh. but it won't hold them for long. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Oh, authority. Search your mind for the source of the voice. A memory. The beast daubs the symbol of the absolute on a cave wall in blood. Very deep, a tadpole struggles to assert control against the ravenous chaos of her mind. Ooh, 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 ooh. you are of the same pack. Command her to devour the other one. I don't want to lose this. Oh, it's difficult to class is only two. I gotta I gotta pay attention to that. Let's go. <laughs> what? Sensing your presence, the Knoll's tadpole rides in ecstasy. Echoing your command, its host will feast on null flesh to control the hunger, to keep her teeth from your throat. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Do. What do you do right here? <laughs> I think he's dead. But I have. Whoa. 
Use demonic bite. Uh, Reroll. I missed it with an advantage? Get out of here. Holy cow. Wow. Okay. Um. Yo, man. I'm telling you. I am telling you. Let my name be known. <laughs> Get out of here. Probably gonna die. Or no, Asterion will, Asterion will kill him. <laughs> or I can. That ends that. Um, and like, uh, turn someone inside out. Do this. Yes, here. Yeah. Damage. Her mind a hungry pit. The flesh of her pack wasn't enough to satisfy her. What? Dominate her mind, commanding her to feast on herself. Exert your mental power, commanding her to leave. Sever the mental and prepare to fight. Oh my gosh. Dominate her mind, commanding her to feast on herself. Okay. Ooh, 10? Yeah, I'm gonna add, I'm, I'm gonna add a bonus. What kind of bonus? Seventeen. Let's get dark. Her tadpole responds, thrashing violently, and the fragile tissue of her brain tears and splits. You taste the blood in her throat, feel it pooling in the cavity of her skull, but she still resists. Harness your willpower and order her to devour herself. wriggles contented <laughs> as she tears out her own throat yo 
This is wild. <laughs> wild. There's the tadpole. Shattered flail. Interesting. Open up. At the ready. By the gods, you're a sweet sight. Are any of my crew still alive out there? Nope, it's a grim sight. This whole journey's been one grim sight after another. Gnolls, goblins, drow. Risen Road's more dangerous than ever. You're the first friendly face we've seen since Eltergard. Eltergards are a long way from here. Where are you heading? We're bound for Baldur's Gate. Got some cargo to deliver. But we've a stop to make along the way. And then you stop. <laughs> what are you transporting? Trinkets for some rich tosser in Baldur's Gate. He gets his shiny baubles. We get a handful of Terenths. Tarents are the currency of the Zentarim, a network of merchants and mercenaries with few scruples. Mm. Your Zentarim, your people don't deal in bottles. You know who we are. Very clever. And you probably also know it's not smart to interfere with Zent business. This is the point when a clever lass like you accepts my gratitude and walks away. Mm, this is your employer's mess, but we can profit. Let's sell the cargo ourselves. I need to go I need to go heal up anyway, so I will use it now. Nailed it. Wow. Wow. Okay. I like the way you think. Didn't expect to turn this horror show to my advantage. But why not? The chest's all yours. Damn things sealed tighter than a duke's purse strings. So there's no point in trying to open it. I know a fence in Baldur's Gate who'll take it off your hands. Nobody will be the wiser. Don't try to cut me out of the deal, though. The Black Network has eyes and blades everywhere. Crafty swine like you could make a name for yourself in the Zahentarim. Make sure to drop by our hideout. Passphrase at the door is... Little serpent, long shadow. I'll tell my associates to expect you. Little serpent, long I shadow. Your heart. Mm. I do so very like spicy food. Mm. Well, that's a lucky day after all. I don't feel like <laughs> the rest of our crew's half digested, and you're still alive. That's lucky. <clears throat> That's curious. Shy? Smell that? Blood. 
This whole plane reeks of it. That'll wake you up of a fine day, won't it? I do not need awakening. My senses are sharp as steel. What to do? I'll be glad when we're out of this bloody cave. Moving ahead. We took a locked and sealed chest from uh, Rugon, one of the men we saved from Knowles. The chest is now ours, but we could try to find its owner. Can I, like, open it up again? Hmm. What's hiding here? Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Potion of Thank you. Poison mine. Someone there. Sterian, do your thing. Is this your first time on the Sword Coast, Lazel? Yes. It is much more lively than the Githyanki states led me to believe. Just wait till you see Baldur's Gate. What are y'all doing? You'll never want to leave. Jeez. Head into bed. Have a good night, all. Do you know? Have a good night, buddy. We'll see ya. We'll see ya.
Vacant as an orc skull. With pleasure. Goodbye. You find well, but you're so efficient. Why not? Zin's grasp. Ever vigilant. When the wearer chooses to end their range, they gain Fine. 15 I temporary hit to points. Oh, to wonder who's gonna wear that. <sighs> what a waste. What now? I'll be challenged. Certainly a challenge. Step lightly. How do I get up on the barrel? Use the barrel to get up so you can jump. Speak quickly. 
go. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. Objective noted. How can a Starian not make that jump? Looking ahead. That symbol in the blood. What does it mean? Uh, we already talked about it. What's in here? This scimitar. Speedy reply. Nimble attack. When the wielder hits an enemy with this weapon, they gain momentum for two turns. Ooh. Everybody's really hurt. We don't have a healer. Let's go to camp. There are important matters to discuss. How do we get withers? Ooh, difficulty class 20. Make haste. I would have Oh my goodness. flask a flask that can hold friends and foes likely to make the former 
the left. Wow. Is life an awaking death, or does it serve some other purpose? A flask that can hold friends and foes. Likely to make the former. There really wasn't anything in there other than this iron flask. Yo. That was awesome. Nat 20 on that. Let's go. Still breathing, despite everything. Four, nine, and 13. How do we end up getting withers? I thought we I thought I had to go to that uh place to get them. Ah another. Thy name has been recorded. I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. Not to be rude, but what are you? There are many answers to that question. None. Not important. <laughs> if you won't answer, then get out of my camp. Skeletons aren't supposed to be able to talk. Correct. Are you going to explain for them? No. <laughs> I love weather. You were sorting something before. What were you doing? Beyond mortal realms, there doth exist an amalgamation of spirits akin to thine own, ensnared by the treacherous cult of the Absolute, felled in its name. They oh. bear great discontentment with their destiny. For a mere pittance of coin, I might summon the worthiest among them to lend aid to thy undertaking. Hmm. Will these hirelings be joining me willingly? Most willingly, forsooth. Their passions doth run deep for what hath been wrought upon them. Cool. Do you think I can trust these cults? Suspicion always haunts the guilty mind. My services are all that I can proffer thee. What thou wilt do with them is for thee to undertake. Impressive. Are there other ways you can help us? Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, I will cleave soul to body once more. Mm. That's incredibly powerful magic. Why is it so easy for you? Because it is my calling. There is little else to explain. <laughs> you mentioned a cost. What is it? A matter of coin. Two. Uh, what if I don't have that kind of gold right now? Then I shall wait here patiently <laughs> until it is acquired. Uh, I love it. That's outrageous. Such is life. Outrage leading to a singular end. Can you help me change my class? Does it automatically do 100? As thou desire. It automatically does it, huh? Oh, cool. I had like 900 or 1,000. Oh, so you can actually like go in here and... Cool. Cool. <laughs> right? Fate spins along as it should. 
Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? Very well. Want to talk about hirelings? Recruit a hireling. Impossible. Thy party is full. As thou desire. Multi-classing. General Santoni, this advanced feature allows you to build powerful combinations of classes at the expense of higher level class features. You can only level up one class at a time. Cool. Should mind my step. So, we can't go there because of our level. Search for the leaders. I still want to find the goblin priestess. Taking westwards. Seems like westward is above our. Continue traveling with Shadow Heart. Let Damon sleep on a solution. Travel with Carlac. Continue traveling. Search for Duke, which is part of that. Travel to the Mountain Pass. Part of that. Continue traveling with the Staring. But really. We found the cellar mentioned by the journal. Time to have a look around, which is what I did. Hmm. Interesting. I did not rescue the gnome, I can tell you that much. I launched that gnome. Oh. 
Ooh. The air is heavy. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. Wipe the sweat from your brow. Your hands shake as they reach upward. Your forehead remains drenched no matter how much you wipe. Can you feel it crawling through you? Tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly, your bones popping, your flesh swelling. I can. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. I will be quick with my blade. First you, then the others, then myself. Your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty, a touch of disgust. Whoa. You will become an abomination. Four Lazelles, Lazelles. <laughs> Screaming in agony. <sighs> your blood yeah. runs quicker, feeding the gnawing absence at the center of your mind. Lazelles' fear grips you, not fear of death. But fear of insignificance. The great warrior Lazel, a failure to her kind. She will wield no silver sword, ride no red dragon. Forever unknown to the great Lich Queen Blacketh. Be strong. You you will survive this. You will please your queen. I will not let the Geich take me. I will earn Vlaketh's honor. I will wait. But know this. I am watching. If the sickness does not pass come dawn, I will end us all. Whoa. Is it my patron? I came just in time. You are transforming. Yo, she looks so cool. I know your voice. I heard it before. Yes, you have. I saved you before. <laughs> that was an awesome, quick, uh... And I'm here to save you again. Don't worry. She tried you to, like, will not jump? become a mind flayer. Not while I'm around. I'll protect you. Take the hand offered to you. We haven't much time, so listen closely. There is great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. 
Your instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it. Nurture it. I will keep it from consuming you, but for the sake of both of us, you must learn to wield it. for the fate of Faerun, a fight we are losing, for now. You can change that, but only if you embrace your potential. I have to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back. feel better. I promise. I didn't even say to rest. I just said end the day. Didn't even ask me for like camp supplies or anything. Wow. Consuming parasites. You can now absorb this psionic potential of ithylid parasites to an, to evolve mind flare powers consume the first ithalid parasite in your inventory to unlock the ithalid powers menu future parasites will automatically appear there look out for sources of parasites in the world including infected corpses wow Scratch. What's going on, dude? Don't pants through a ball held firmly in his mouth. Animal handling. Urge him to drop the ball. Put some guidance on here. He relinquishes the ball. It is well chewed and slick with drool. His eyes track the ball avidly. He shuffles it's on his paws, cellar. ready to chase after it. <laughs> Why wouldn't I throw it? Scratch's tongue lolls out happily, his tail wagging even faster. Doggo! Item received. Scratch his ball. Hey, that's awesome. Get to throw the ball for scratch. Level up. Let's go. The level again. Wait.
Did I really fuck it up? What is going on? Okay, this is weird. I don't know what happened. Because I did the whole, like, change my class thing, but I didn't... I didn't actually choose anything. I got X, I got X that. Yeah, but how, if I wanted to summon Fett, Scratch, how would I protect him, is my question. I know, I don't even want to summon them. Like, I'm curious what you would use use them for. Can you use scratch in the burrow holes?
This one is a true soul parasite. It can enhance you. You can absorb its potential. Open your mind to it. You already know how. Don't worry, you won't come to harm. I'll protect you. Open your mind to the tadpole. Your mind swells as it subsumes everything the tadpole has to offer. Everything it was and everything it was destined to be. Pure potential. Pure power. Good. You have grown your power and improved your chances of survival. Let's see what? Still alive. So, so where's the Oh here it is. Isolid power. Force tunnel. Charge board pushing away all objects and creatures in your path 13 feet away from you. Nice. Concentrated blast. Psionic. Conditional. You must be concentrating on another spell to cast this. If the target was concentrating, you heal as much as the damage was dealt to. Nice. Chance to use health. Sacrifice half your remaining health hit points to heal a target for the same amount. Psionic overload. Oh gosh, that's crazy. Favorable beams. The first attack roll ability check you make against any target gains a bonus equal to your proficiency. That's so wild. You're holding it and then dropping it in the new game. <laughs> oh, that's wild. Oh, I didn't see the tree. I can consume another one. Psionic backlash when an enemy within 30 feet casts a spell. You can use your reaction to inflict 1d4 psychic damage to the caster per the, per the spell's level. Hold a week. Uh, 
Oh, you damn well believe I better. I'm going to consume another one. Oh, Pete's here. I gotta do the thing for Pete. Before me. I gotta do the thing for Pete. Ready, Pete? No, oh, no, oh, oh. Scratch. Scratch is going this way. Scratch. Hey, Scratch. fetch and pet and we can summon scratch now as a familiar Elixir of bloodlust, single use. Those willing to immerse themselves in savagery often reap blood red reward. Okay. We need to find suspensions. We already pet him. Pet him as soon as we got back to camp. It was bad enough having just one of those tadpoles forced upon us. I can scarcely believe you actually inflicted another on yourself. Oh, she's pissed at us. Something strange happened. That artifact you carry it seemed to just come to me. I know. I felt it. You felt it what? Fly away from you? Yes. No. I don't know. The artifact seems to have powers and a will of its own. It protects us. I don't know how or why, but I'm glad. I felt it go from me to you. You need its help just as it needs us. It's still just a box after all. Hmm. I suppose you'll want it back? Might not be possible. It's stubborn that way. Prone to lashing out. Keep it for now. We can all help to protect it. I was hoping you'd come to chat. What do you need? very serious of you but go ahead it's strange 
I've been dwelling on what I told you before about, on one hand, they seem useful. But on the other hand, or perhaps tentacle before long, we know where they're coming from. And what lies at the end of that path. I never expected Ceramorphosis to be tempting. I think we should resist these powers. There's simply too many unknowns for us to risk it. Whoops. Ooh, persuasion. Seramorphosis. We rolled two sixes. I see it as more a case of wisely avoiding a potential threat. My mind is set. Dang it. I was hoping you'd come to chat. What do you need? I'd join you, but things are looking a tad crowded. You'll need to make room for me. Wonderful. I was beginning to feel a little left out. Oh, she leveled Wits up. and blades always shop. Also, uh, I looked up the Spider Queen. She seems quite scary to encounter. A lot of the lore is new to me. Yeah. Yeah. When uh, when I did the Lost Minds of Fandelver little campaign with um, with my buddy um, in this channel, it's uh, Berg. Um, uh, he we did, you know, we encountered Lolith and everything. And well, she, she's pretty powerful. Can can trip. Noise. Right, what do I want my can trip to be? Use it with light. Blade ward. Take only half the damage from bludgeoning, piercing, it means uh, attacks. Produce flame. A flame in your hand sheds a light in a 30 foot radius and it deals one to fight. One to eight fire damage. One prone. Hmm. Do I want damage or do I want blade ward? I feel like I want blade ward. Ooh, select a feat for her? What's a good clarity? Cantrips like this. You learn two cantrips and a level one spell from the cleric spell list. You can cast a level one spell once per long rest. Your spellcasting ability for all three spells. Cool. Okay. Well, I can do produce frame. about the light part. Protection from good and evil. You already know the spell. Oh. 
This spell is a different version from the one you already know. You will have access to both. Nice. Going through the lore, I'm kind of conflicted of who I would be now. <laughs> X-Blade Warlock? Nice. Bless. Kind of like bless. Definitely need more rows now. She's got all this now. So all these are cantrips. Oh, you know what I should have looked at? I should have looked at more bonus action ones. Hmm. Can I? Hmm. Probably can't go back in. Unless I go pay like a hundred for him. I didn't, even think, I didn't even think about that. I pick way too many things that are in action and I need to like, I need to get bonus action stuff and, and action stuff and have like a good balance. Or an Oathbreaker Pally. I could see the Oathbreaker Paladin. Twelve thirty. I need to go to bed. So, um, thanks everyone for hanging out. Uh, sorry for the little blip and drop frames a couple times earlier. Um, I'm gonna work on that tomorrow. I think. Uh, I might try to take the uh, uh, the alchemy. Not really. I mean, it's just there. Nothing to really do with it. But now we can, now we can summon the tadpole powers. <laughs> I should have done this one instead of that one. So, but yep. I didn't, my, whatever you want to call him, my guardian or whatever. Um, I can't remember what the terminology is right now. I'm too tired. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. They visited me and basically were like, we'll protect you, just, just, you know, 
just embrace the tadpole because we need you to embrace the power to save the world, basically. So, but yep. Yeah. Um, you guys have a good night, and I'll be back Thursday.